bonds and notes, as uh, the title says, new tabloid from the that we isolated and now going to talk about and we check this biological activity. So just to give you a little bit of introduction, as I said, the Buddha is considered to be a now of religious compound for a number of elements and the particular disease that is also is caused by various factors including stress, excess of endometrium, which is uh, non steroid and inflammatoria, and helicobacter pyrimidine infection is another major cause of the agricultural So how this mainly extract helps in uh, remediation of uh, gastric ulcer that I am going to talk. So we investigated the gastroprotective effect of methanolic extract of and the model that we used in the method we used gastric ulcer model. So our objective was to first isolate and purify uh, lead molecule and then the characterization of that lead molecule and we choose the methanolic extract instead of uh, water extract that I'll tell you why and that crude mathematic extract of uh, we run in a TLC column and each and every fraction in check for its biological activity and the particular compound that we isolated, nobody before us isolated this particular compound which is thermalic in C beta glucopyramoside and this particular compound is very good at in mouse model of gastric ulcer and we also did the in vivo and in vivo binding studies that the mode of action of this particular compound is a uh, once you see the structure then you can find out it's nothing but it's a very good evaluation. So the concept was that this uh, is uh, just recently published in a journal of natural products which is one of the prestigious journals in natural products. So this leaf extract was given to a uh, rat and the ulcer was made by oral in the medicine. And after three hours, once we sacrifice in the stomach, we can see uh, in the, the ulcer was developed because the layer in the gastric tissue, which is a epithelial layer, is highly damaged. And in the submucosa, there are a lot of in Infantry cells, they uh, infiltrate. But this is the tissue structure when means if extract or the purified compound from means if extract given, the, the damage in the tissue is reversed. And the biochemical acid that we have done is expression of one of the proteins, the known many matrix metalloproteins. Matrix metalloproteins 9 is one of the inflammatory genes and the activity increased very much during ulceration. And when there is no ulcer, then the activity of 9 goes down a lot. So those dependencies, molecules that we purify from methanol that shows inhibitory activity of metalloproteins 9. So that's the mode of action. So, in a regular trivial way, we just run the extract, uh, mean this uh, methanolic uh, extract in silica gel, and then we delete it in a different ratio of chloroform and methanol, and each and every fraction was tested for its activity in animal model. So, bar uh, activity grinding fractions were then collected, and again it was passed through and uh, the, those fractions that we ultimately run in TLC and uh, also we characterize, we found the color of the compound is yellow, the melting point is around 202, and this is the molecular formula, this is 
to change to a change to an OS12, we can drive it to anyone, and uh, the mass of the compound came as 501. So I'm not going to detail of all these things because it's already published and we can do it in multiple. So this is the structure that we found. The purified molecule from methanol unit leaf is terminated in 3 O beta D glucoparamicide. And this is first time isolated from me. The biological name of the name is Azalea Beta. And it shows significant antigas and the gastric ulcer activity because it inhibits the activity of matrix control design. So that is the uh, molecule with the deep interactive design. So how we try before that, people may ask why I'm doing these things because the need is very much available in India and few other countries and it has a lot of uh, medicinal values and uh, if we really can use instead of the drug that is all the time we are using is Romiprazole and it is definitely a very good drug, very uh, uh, much useful but it has some side effects and also if you go on using a long time it also does not start working. The mode of action of Romiprazole or Pantoprazole is basically the inhibit the proton pump limiter. The person who got covered by it and that in 1980 because of the discovery of this drug. Generally, the discovery of drug giving uh, award for the Nobel Prize is very rare. This is one of the examples of that. So, methanol is in this extract. We get crude extract when we have given to animals and then sacrifice it. And the stomach, you can see, there are a lot of red dots which signify the stomach also. But uh, when extract was given at a dose dependent manner, then you can see it uh, inhibits the ulcer formation very much. Whereas the crude extract doesn't show much of the activity. The model that we use, which is insect induced ulcer, is the painkiller, which we take a lot of painkiller, it causes uh, ulceration because. Those painkillers either inhibit preferentially COX-1 or COX-2. Uh, there are some inhibitors which are selective for COX-2. But the major uh, molecular uh, biology behind it is COX inhibit cox And the side effect of painkiller is basically gastric ulceration because if we inhibit cox in strong tissue, it then inhibit in the mucus secretion and that's why also formation The tissue structure you see there is control tissue uh, is in red and uh, when also is there as I mentioned earlier in the behavior there they are very much and there are a lot of inflammatory cells infected in the submucus region and when we have given uh, methanolic means prior to giving intermittent, then those dependent with uh, rescue from ulceration. This is nothing but whatever you have seen in earlier side is the quantification of that. So if ulcer is index is more than 60, it goes down uh, around 10 or so. In TLC, uh, fraction we can what we have seen the methanol uh, extract was spotted here and then after running in a particular solvent when you check we have seen either the four bands in when we use the charging method but when you see under UV then we have seen few more bands so M1, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5 and B7 we just mark them and each and every fraction they tested in animal and there you can see that M1 worked very well whereas B5 didn't work much, B3, B4 is okay, B1 is comparatively better. So that's why in further studies we use these two to uh, do uh, more of the detailed studies. So B1 
alteration was very much uh, immediate and for him one also. So this, these are the two more uh, the two spots that uh, I check uh, later. And the thermalic city that compound basically we got in this fraction. I'll just tell a few things about metal properties because my uh, studies and my expertise is on matrix metal properties. And this is one of the proteins which is highly involved in cancer metastasis. And later on, people also found not only cancer, in many inflammation, there are few of the metal proteins that actually change. One of the metal proteins is the work of us. It was published in JBC 2005, and later on, few other study as well. So, metal proteins 9, which is under the group of gelatinase. And this is the domain structure. They basically give extracellular matrix protein and they interact within themselves. So to do work with metal protein is not all easy. So that's why you always try to see this activity. So what you can see in NCDs is ulceration. The more the ulceration, more the MMP9 activity. So this is the uh, so when P1 and M1 was given before ulceration, the MMP9 activity goes down drastically. So now we check whether the purified compound and what it does to inhibit the ulceration. Then we found that 50 mg per kg per kg is also good enough to reduce the ulceration by 80%. And the tissue histology says the same thing when there is high ulceration, the damage is very high, but when the particular compound, purified compound from India was given, the ulcer is almost gone. And the uh, mode of action is by inhibiting MMP9, it's not by inhibiting the PPI and proton pump. The, the action of the purified new compound from India is through inhibition of matrix metal protein 9. And we wanted to see whether the binding with the matrix metal protein 9 and the compound that we isolated, what is the ICT value? That's why uh, this is a uh, in vitro study. We took the purified MMP9 and we have added different concentration of the molecule PCG and ultimately we found that ICT value is coming uh, around uh, 50 or so. And this value is also corroborated with the CD experiment that we have done and when we plotted they are also found is around 50 micromolar. So the binding is pretty tight and uh, the particular amino acid of the MMP9 which is involved in interaction are um, alanine 191, histidine and few other tyrosine, histidine 401 as well. So uh, we also did this uh, molecular dynamic simulation to see interaction with different amino acids of MMP9 and the small molecule in the So in conclusion, what I wanted to say that in our study, for the first time I identified thermite in CO beta D glucopyrrhocyte as a function of new bioactive compound from methanolic extract of the And this compound is what is abbreviated as T. So significant protection against endometrial immunity and cancer. We are also now in the process of understanding the activity of this particular molecule in gastric cancer as well. Because in gastric cancer, that we have seen the activity of MP9 and maybe activity of active MP9 because MPs are in two different forms, pro form and active form. Whether active MP9 is also limited by this compound during gastric uh, cancer as well. So this is the MMP9 activity by binding with catalytic green binding domain at the active site of the enzyme. And it could be a great promise for novel anti-cancer, gastric cancer therapy. So there are three publications. And this is the publication that I want to tell you. This came and in PubMed you can see it. And uh, the person who really helps to do this work is Niru Pikas Mondo because he is my collaborator and he uh, worked on natural products for a long time. 
to okay. repair the ulcer. Ah, this was uh, the question. Okay. This is the model of preventive model. Okay, what madam was telling now yeah, is preventive model. Means we are giving the compound prior to ulceration. Prior to ulceration. Okay. So this is a minutes prior to ulceration. Means we are making the gastric middle in such a way that if by any chance MMP9 express or by any chance oxidative I mean, stress come up means generation of raw. So that means it will prevent. So the T3G will prevent the any excess activity of MMP9 or excess loss generation. So it is acting as an anti-inflammatory as well as antioxidant molecule. So it's a prevent. But to answer your question, to give it to a human being, those who already have ulcer. Whether we can do this or not, I should do another experiment which we call therapy. Means we will make ulcer, then we will give the animal uh, that particular compound and check after different time points. And that experiment we have already done, not in, in this molecule, it's going on now. It is after 6 hours, 8 hours, 12 hours, 24 hours. So how long it takes to heal? The ulcer by our molecule. So in that case, if it is in the rat model or in the loaded model, the time frame then will mimic with our human system. So there is one the paper in JDC 2005 in So there we have done the experiment, healing experiment, and what we have seen it accelerates the healing process. Okay. So here just one more point. Because it is gastric ulcer you have been, I mean, you have been used this one. I wonder because our mammalian system, uh, the, the whole stomach doesn't handle any liquid molecules. So how this your compound is going to heal in the gastric ulcer? Because in, in a human also, you can see, the, our uh, stomach is not going to handle any liquid digestion. The liquid digestion starts only in the duodenum. Why is why the liquid coming? Is it the why, why no, no, why I am saying because this is an organic solvent extracted material. Oh, saying. organic solvent extracted material. Then it is we are drying. Okay, so it is the yeah, we are dissolving a yeah. little bit of olive oil and we need to cover it into anger. Okay. It's no more methanol or oil gel. So it's yeah. 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 If you take MMP9 knockout system, the ulcer will be given. Okay. okay, thank you, sir, for your uh, explanation. Our next speaker, uh, Dr. R. Bhattu.